Welcome, esteemed viewers, to today's episode of Golden Age Technology. The human skin can be thought of as a soft, flexible garment we wear every day. Classified as an organ, it is the largest of the human body and can be up to two square meters in size. Our skin does more than just act as an outer covering. It protects us from germs and helps to regulate our body temperature. One remarkable feature of our skin is its ability to repair itself. Epidermal stem cells enable the skin to regenerate fairly quickly. Our guest today is Dr Fiona Wood, a renowned Australian plastic surgeon and director of the Western Australia Burn Service who, along with Marie Stoner, pioneered a treatment called Spray-On Skin that takes the skin's renewing ability to even higher levels, particularly when treating severe skin conditions such as burns. The technology is now used worldwide on burn victims, those with skin tissue injuries, and also to improve the appearance of scars. Dr Wood is very much interested in giving back to society. In 1999, she and Ms Stoner created the non-profit The Macomb Foundation to bolster research and development in the areas of wound healing, tissue repair and regeneration. Let's now join our Supreme Master Television correspondent and Dr Fiona Wood in Australia to learn about the Good Doctor's spray-on skin innovation. Today we're coming to you from Royal Perth Hospital in Western Australia where we have the privilege of speaking with Dr Fiona Wood, who is head of the Burns Unit here and director of Western Australia's Burn Service. Dr Wood is also the only female plastic surgeon in this state. Dr Wood is the recipient of two prestigious awards, the West Australian Citizen of the Year Award, twice, and Australian of the Year in 2005. She has been called an Australian living treasure mainly due to her contribution to medicine in the field of burns research, most notably the treatment known as spray on skin. In addition to all these accomplishments, Dr. Wood is also a clinical professor with the School of Pediatrics and Child Health at the University of WA and director of McCoom Research Foundation. She is also a businesswoman and co-founder of the private company Clinical Cell Culture. Thank you so much for giving your very precious time. We specifically wanted to talk to you regarding the research, technology and application of spray on skin. It's really fascinating. Would you please share with us what exactly inspired this particular research? The story of the spray on skin research starts uh, a long way back. I guess really my first exposure to the concept of growing skin cells of an individual was in 1985. That far back? That far back. So I was in England at the time working in a place called East Grinstead and in uh, the uh, Mackindale Research Centre they had started growing skin cells based on techniques that had come out of Boston uh, and around about the late uh, 1970s and first clinically used in 1982. And at that time, people were taking uh, samples of skin and growing them into skin cell sheets. That was my first exposure and it was the seed that was in my mind. Then uh, I went through training and always sort of gravitating back to Burns Care and the concept of uh, trying to understand healing in the massive scale with, uh, which we see uh, with burns and trying to understand that if we have the capacity to regenerate, our skin is repairing itself all the time, we have grazes, knocks and bumps all the time, can we harness that intrinsic capacity and use that to heal people when their, their system is so badly damaged? And, that, and the short answer is yes.
we had a telethon grant in 1993 to establish a skin culture program and that's when I started working with Marie Stoner who's a medical scientist I work with and still do and one time we noticed that the skin cell sheets that were more fragile and more immature paradoxically did better and one day we just said oh we should just spray this on I was going to ask you how uh, the process of spray on skin works. Basically we take a, a specimen of skin that's not been injured and that's programmed just to keep turning over, to repair the wear and tear of everyday life. So we harvest a small shaving of skin in the non-injured area and with a, an enzyme we split the layers of skin and then with a physical disintegration, we scrape it, we harvest the cells from between the layers, between the waterproof epidermis and the strong dermis that keeps us tough. And we harvest those cells because that's where the active growing zone is. And then we make them into a suspension in a, a, a balanced salt solution and put them in a syringe and spray them on. Literally spray on? Yes. Because I was quite... Um interested and if it was just a spray, a simple spray. Yeah, it is a simple spray and we've tried lots of other ways of making it look a bit more complicated. Yeah. So this way we put the nozzle straight on the syringe and we don't lose any volume. We do get runoff, it's sort of, it is runny, but uh, we use the dressings to catch that and we keep the volumes very small and the cells are very sticky. So we do get a bit of, lo uh, of loss from the surface when we spray, but by and large we get enough cells on the, on the right place. Our discussion with Dr Fiona Wood regarding how spray-on skin heals patients will continue after these brief messages. You're watching Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Golden Age Technology. We are with Dr Fiona Wood, an Australian plastic surgeon and head of the Burns Unit at Royal Perth Hospital in Western Australia. She and colleague Marie Stoner are credited with creating Spray-On Skin, a product that can help treat burn victims, those with skin tissue injuries, and can also be used in improving the appearance of the scar. Let us rejoin our interview with Dr Wood for further details on this wonderful advancement in medicine. Could you tell us please, um, what are the benefits of Spray-On Skin and who can benefit from this procedure? I think the benefits of, of, of spraying on skin cells is the, the concept that of speed and it's, it's flexible. We don't use it in isolation and it's not the only thing we use. When we look at somebody who's injured, we, ca we characterise their wound. How deep is it? How big is it? Where in the body is it? What have we got in our toolbox that we can give the best quality scar? Uh, result and so if it's a deeper wound then we need dermis if it's a superficial wound all we need is epidermis and so we match the sites and if it's on the face we need skin donor site close by if it's on the palm of the hand or sole of the foot we will we'll match it so all those things are in our minds as we're making a surgical plan to pro provide the best possible wound healing to give the least scar mm -hmm. And one of the things we do quite frequently here is a sand and respray. We take the surface off and respray. For example, if you've got a skin graft on your face that's a browny color, yellowy browny color, because it's come from your leg, we can sand the surface, take a little bit of skin from behind your ear and change the color. So we blend it. Where else in the world, Dr Wood, uh, is this technique being used at the moment? It's, it's approved in 40 some countries and we have trials going in different countries. We have developed a kit that you can use a little bit of normal skin and you can get the skin spray within about 20 or 30 minutes. So that's the main way we use it.
Does spray on skin speed up the healing process over traditional skin graft? And can it shorten the length of time spent in hospital? We've reviewed different groups within our population and for our massive burns, for example, in the early uh, 90s, you stayed in hospital two days per percent body surface area. Now you stay 1.2 days per percent body surface area. And there's other things that have changed, but that was one of the pivotal changes. With our children uh, in, the, in Scald, again, we were able to reduce their length of stay quite considerably. And uh, the, the trauma of surgery is reduced as well. I was going to ask you if there was one particular um, case where you've used the spray-on technique that you'd like to share with us, maybe a special one that has left an impact on you. I remember one fellow in 92 that survived a m more than 90% body surface area burn. And I think if, I, if nothing else happened ever, I know that our lives will be connected because at that time it was a pivotal thing that we could actually ensure survival of someone that was so badly injured. And that has a profound effect on all of us. Uh, more recently we've experienced people whose spirit to, will to survive is phenomenal. How do you see the future potential of spray-on skin? I think the spray-on skin cells is part of the massive jigsaw. When we look at uh, how we heal, we, there's a lot of factors involved. Obviously, the extent of the injury has a big part to play, but how can we actually then harness all the different uh, systems in our body to drive the healing? And one of the areas that we're spending a lot of time uh, trying to understand at the moment is the brain and how the, the information in the brain can actually drive the shape, if you like, and actually drive uh, the repair. Everybody has this idea that we're focused on uh, scar minimization and regeneration for, for, because how it looks, but it's not just how it looks, how it moves. You know, if you have a scar on your hand, it will influence the, your movement, it will influence your functionality. So it's a whole package and that, that sort of ties in with the, the brain's impact on that. Dr. Wood, we'd like to thank you so much for being with us today. Yeah, and we pleasure. really sincerely mean that because we know how busy you are. And we wish you every great success in the future with all your endeavours, whatever they may be, to help mankind. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you our friends for joining us today on Golden Age Technology here on Supreme Master Television. Please stay with us for Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. Up next, following noteworthy news. May all communities around the world be blessed with health and prosperity. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash G-A-T